Jan Lin, um, who I know well uh, through letters and 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 social media and stuff like that, uh, is asking, what do I do with my fur? Uh, first, I'd just like to say uh, um, she's helped a lot with the teen center that I run in town here, and uh, I'm going to be running it again tonight and uh, Saturday night, and. Uh, yeah, just uh, thank you. And anyway, on to the question. What do I do with my fur? So I grabbed a, a bunch of stuff here so I could uh, uh, show uh, some of the things that I do with my fur. Um, I uh, actually, first I'll do the stuff that I sell. Almost almost all the ma Martin, this is a, like a weasel, a furry northern weasel. This would be uh, like a mink. It, it's more like a furry northern mink, you know. Um, and uh, when they're stretched like this, they're, uh, when they come off the stretcher, then they're sent in and sold. And it's pretty, um, it's one of the few things that have, uh, maintain their their price you know to fur buys and stuff uh, I guess they're hard to ranch and so that makes the, uh, the wild fur still valuable so uh, um, yeah there we go and that is off the stretches that you get a bunch of these things send them all in they 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 can run anywhere from uh, Oh, lately maybe sixty dollars to uh, I've gotten as much as hundred and eighty dollar average for these one year. I got a hundred and eighty dollar average, uh, and so so those things are sold. And then uh, most of the wolves and wolverine and all that, you know, bigger animals and stuff. Those things are turned into uh, gloves and hats and fur ruffs. Everybody in the family has to have a fur ruff. This is the thing that's going to create the dare to, dead air space uh, around your face if there's a good wind. And um, this one here is, uh, this is Wolverine here, sewn onto, uh, this is uh, actually, this is bl uh, uh, black bear fur. And uh, some people will use a Wolverine and Wolf, and I, I don't know. I just like uh, bear skin. It's uh, it doesn't shed the snow as well as maybe Wolf, but it's uh, I just really like it. And it's uh, it was tanned with birch bark um, in a birch bark tan, so that made it a little bit brown. And it was a kind of a brownish black bear anyway. As they have black bears uh, is a like a species name and. Uh, and some of them are actually kind of light. They got, they look almost like grizzly bears, you know. Uh, but that's what that is. And then, um, and then the uh, Martin hats. Uh, a lot of the women up here uh, will make. Uh, this is my uh, daughter's um, Martin hat, and you know, three nice tails on the back, and uh, you know, it's just a little delicate for uh, like a guy that's out trapping will have like that's a beaver hat there beaver fur is it's just tougher you know and and you're rougher with it and you're always taking it on and off and throwing it in your sled and and so it's just beaver is just tougher so that's and that that was dyed black that was uh that's why it's it's like that and then the uh these are some small mitts uh you know you can't put you know very heavy gloves in them and if you do you're can't get your hands in and out easy. So these would be like driving mitts or something like for a snow machine or, or you know, when the weather's not that uh, that uh, cold. But these are made out of beaver, and then that's moose moose skin on the uh, on the palms there. And then I have my mitts. Like if it's uh, you know you get down 20, 30, 40, 50 below. Um, this is what I start wearing when I'm driving dogs. I call these driving mitts. And the, per, what I, the function of the, these are made out of beaver. 
And this is, uh, that's not moose, that's cowhide, but it's, uh, they're made out of dyed beaver. I had somebody make these for me. And, uh, and uh, they're, they're big. They're, they're made for simply just holding on to a dog sled and going from trap to trap to trap where you just take them off, throw them in your sled, go over to a trap, and you got, you know, uh, cotton gloves on. Your hands are cold by the time you get through doing the trap and you come back to the dog sled and you stick your hands in this and then you go another quarter mile or eighth of a mile to the next trap and hopefully your hands have warmed up a little in these big mitts. You take them out again, get your hands cold again and, uh, and, they, and they're just really insulated and they're not made for, uh, you can't even really hold an axe good with these gloves. Um, they're not made for doing anything in this. Simply made for stop and go trapping all day long where you're getting your hands cold and you need to warm them up real well uh, afterwards and uh, so that's the kind of stuff we do with all the fur we catch.